What's up, guys? And happy Halloween! <sighs> Today we're going to be talking about Tick Tock, Tick Tock, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. So, guys, there's uh, quite a few reasons why I wanted to read this book. Um, number one, you know, back in the day, I remember watching the movie. Um, it was kind of like a quintessential movie for every rebellious teenager. You know, the, the Stanley Kubrick adaption. Um, and I remember liking it, though I had all kinds of conflicted uh, feelings while watching that movie and even afterwards. Um, but fast forward, um, even more interest in reading this book came out of just... I'm a real big fan of The Broken Empire. Um, and I know for a fact that Jorg Ancrath uh, was influenced by Alex from A Clockwork Orange. So I really wanted to dive into this. So, you know, I, I knew I was going to get ready to read it here towards the end of October. Um, you know, just a good old ultra violence for that, like, Devil's Night Halloween spirit. Um, but after reading this book, man, I, I gotta say... <sighs> trick or treat on me, really. Um, let's get into that. So, first things first, as soon as I open up the book, there's an introduction from Anthony Burgess himself, from the author. Um, and this was kind of shocking. I wasn't uh, expecting, not so much that I wasn't expecting an introduction, I just wasn't expecting an introduction of this kind. Right out the gate, Anthony Burgess basically tells the reader that A Clockwork Orange sucks. <laughs> or that it did suck uh, and this I was like kind of found a little jarring um, and he even goes into this about you know even though he doesn't like it you know so many other people do uh, so he finds it his responsibility as the author and the creator to you know to champion it uh, as long as he lives you know uh, <laughs> he seems to become uh, like reluctant this whole thing is kind of off-putting to start out the book um, this also goes into talking about the movie and not only just the movie the US edition of this book because that's what the movie is based off of and now you're kind of wondering oh there's two different versions of this book yeah and no well what this introduction tells us is that the original version is 21 chapters. The U.S. version was 20 chapters, and that's the version that Kubrick made. So, it's just one chapter, right? Well, Burgess is basically saying that is what made all the world of a difference. Um, there's many significant reasons why that one chapter should have been in there. Anyway, you know, fast forward... Today, the versions that we can get now are the completed versions, but in this introduction, Anthony Burgess basically asks the reader themselves, like, hey, make up your own mind. Am I right or am I wrong? Does that 21st chapter belong in this book? And I'm like, dude, I haven't even got to page one yet. I'm just like, what is going on? The story takes place in the future, where crime is high and street hooligans run the night. Our main character is Alex. He is a young teenager. Um, he's also our humble narrator. Uh, we will start out basically in the Karova Milk Bar with Alex and his droogs. And from here we will go out into the streets and wreak some good old ultraviolence. Alex and his friends will certainly get up to a lot of nastiness. Things will just, you know, this is a variety of things. Ranging from, you know, just a little light assault, tearing a guy's books up. <laughs> to, um, you know, robbing candy shops, to full-on assault, stealing cars, breaking and entering, burglary, gang rape. It's a, you know, it's a lot of nastiness. Eventually, our humble narrator will be betrayed by his droogs. And this is what sends Alex to jail. It's an interesting turn of events because this is a very young man being entered into the system. And it's a scary time for our main character, you know? Um, and at the same time, this is where Alex finds an opportunity for change. This is certainly where uh, the book takes a sinister turn in a way. Because, you know, Alex and his friends, their, their ultra-violence, it's really easy and plain to see. It's right up in your face. It's, you know, it's visceral and it's, it's very graphic in this book. So you feel it. But like I'm saying, it's, it's just very upfront in face. Uh, where this experiment stuff... 
is kind of more like behind the scenes sinister kind of you know what i mean there's there's just more to it than meets the eye after alex finishes the experiments he is basically deemed a, a, a changed man and he is freed he is reintegrated into society uh, and he is reintegrated much, much sooner th than everyone expected. So when Alex gets, um, when he gets out, he just, you know, he, his first thought is to go home. But what he finds out is just, you know, something that he didn't expect. That uh, maybe people weren't ready for him to get out this soon. Uh, home life is definitely different for him. He finds that his room is rented out. And it doesn't seem like his parents are too excited to see him. So it's already off to a bad start. And then from here, it only gets worse. It almost seems like from here, uh, our humble narrator gets just a big old cosmic bag of karma dumped on his head, especially considering the certain run-ins he has from here. It's like, it's almost like he's really getting a taste of his own medicine. Like he's got debts that he's owed and it's time to pay and he's paying them. After being assaulted by police officers, our humble narrator finds refuge in a very familiar place. Um, but this might not be the best place for him to find, uh, refuge in here he finds a group of people that want to use him against the government um, they don't really like what the government has done to Alex regardless of how they feel about Alex um, they have plans for him though through a series of events Alex ends up trying to commit suicide where he jumps out a window um, but he doesn't die he ends up waking up in the hospital, and this is kind of another little twist here, is when he wakes up in the hospital, he starts to realize that all this reforming, all these experiments, all this stuff that they did to him, um, didn't last through his accident. So after he's jumped out the window, woke up in the hospital, he's returned to his old savage self. Now, this is where the book ends as far as the old u.s edition right this is the kubrick movie the 21st chapter we basically just fast forward a little bit we we have alex he's with a whole new group of droogs they're in the karova milk bar it's like almost nothing has changed but in this chapter we see alex run into an old friend and we see some things start to turn in Alex's head. We see some just kind of natural things start to play out, right? We start to see Alex begin to grow up. He starts to think about putting away childish things, right? So after finishing this, right, it might seem like this one last chapter was not all that. But let's get into it. So first thing, right? Let's talk about like that thing that the author asked of me when starting this book. You know, after I was done, do I think that that 21st chapter needs to be in there? <clears throat> now, I'll just say this. With just the 20 chapters, this book is a bit of the old ultra violence. With the 21 chapters... It's a story. It's a story that that brings you from one end to the other with some kind of change. You know what I mean? There, there. It's an actual tale a little bit more than just, you know, visceral violence. One thing about the book is just, you know, you have Alex as the narrator, um, and he speaks in this, like, this NADSAT slang. It's like this inside slang for this, these teenagers from this, like, this part of town kind of deal. Um, I didn't even know this until later on. This is an entire language that Anthony uh, Burgess made up. That is impressive, for one thing. <laughs> I mean, he took uh, existing languages and slangs and kind of mixed and, and matched them. And you can kind of pick out some as well if you know different languages. Um, but this will either, comp I feel like this is either going to make people not want to read it or you'll, you'll be like me where you kind of warmed up to it rather quickly and it became like part of what... I, 
part of how why I enjoyed this book. It was very original. I mean, it's it's being delivered in just this crazy way. Uh, all this, all these slang words, because just over time, like through like through repetitiveness, uh, you start to kind of understand what they mean. You know what I mean? Uh, if you've seen the movie, you're like, yeah, I kind of know. But you got to understand that movie. Yes, they speak in this NADSAT language. So you're hearing that kind of talk, but a lot of the movie is shot, right? Like you're seeing a lot of the scenes where in this book, it's all being explained to you by Alex. So from beginning to end and every sentence is just crammed, filled with this slang. And it is just the craziest stuff, man. Uh, like being like, like lonesome was Adi Naki. Uh, <laughs> like your mouth is a litso. Uh, your hands rookers uh, I mean just there's all kinds of great stuff like I said I do think though there are gonna pe be people that this just frust frustrates the hell out of you they're just gonna be straight up people that are like probably throw the book because it's just it's not easy to read um, but if you're into this like kind of original um, style of delivery I guess you know <laughs> it's a lot of fun Anthony Burgess did a really good job of like, you know, bringing up themes throughout this book. I knew getting into this because I had seen the movie that I knew I was going to, you know, the free will, you know, moral choice. I knew these were big themes of the book. Personally, though, one I took out of here, and I don't know if it was meant to or not, was um, it seemed like while I was reading this, especially in that latter half, it was like, man, people, people don't want justice. People want revenge. That was a big theme I got out of this later half of this book. And I don't know if that was meant to, but just what I got. All in all, I really loved this book. Like I said earlier, I got into it just looking for something visceral and violent, you know? And it's funny because I almost feel bad that that's what I was looking for going into it after that introduction from the author. And then, you know, just... Man, I'm all over the place by by the end of this book, right? Uh, I will say this. I truly feel like this book is special, and I understand why it would be considered a classic, regardless of what the author feels about it. Because after reading it, it definitely, like, impacted me. Like I said, I went in kind of giggling, like, ready to get into that ultra violence and by the time I was done man I felt like I almost grew up a little bit like I had almost grown up with Alex that little bit man like I, I changed while reading this I know that sounds super cheesy and cliche but that was my experience that was my takeaway and that's why I really truly do think that this book is special I don't think it's going to be for everyone like I said earlier for the slow and the struggling just definitely try it out. I don't think that there's anything that can prepare you for this. I think you're just going to have to try it out. You're either going to really dig uh, deciphering that slang or you're not at all. I just think you're going to have to try. Um, I do think though that for those that start and finish this book, I think that most likely you have a good chance of having some like at least little small chance of transformation. I know I did. Like I said, I'm not talking about profound moment stuff here, guys. I'm just saying, man, this book impacted me and I appreciate it. And I, it's definitely going on, you know, up there for me. Now, as always, thanks for spending some time down here at the channel and to Anthony Burgess. Bam! Because he ain't here. But damn, I wish I could tell him. I wish I could shake his hand and say, you know, I know you don't like it, but I loved it, man. I know that sucky book of yours touched my black heart, sir. <clears throat> and I can appreciate that. Much respect. All right, guys. If you're new, please like and subscribe. As always, peace.